Our Voice, celebrating the Coretta Scott King Illustrator Awards, features original artwork from 101 award and honor-winning titles by 34 African-American authors and illustrators. Awarded annually by the American Library Association for Books about the African-American Experience, the Coretta Scott King Book Awards celebrate African-American life and culture. The award commemorates the life and work of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. and honor his wife, Mrs. Coretta Scott King, for her courage and determination to continue the work for peace and world brotherhood. This exhibition was organized by the National Center for Children's Illustrated Literature in Abilene, Texas. In this video, we'll hear from Brian Collier, who won the Coretta Scott King Award nine times between 2001 and 2016 for his books, Uptown, Freedom River, Martin's Big Words, Visiting Langston, Dave the Potter, I Too Am America, Knock Knock, and Trombone Shorty. Hi, this is Brian Collier. I wrote and illustrated the book Uptown. Uptown is a wonderful book about a tour that a little boy gives you about his neighborhood. It's a special book for me because it's my very first book. It's special also because it took me seven years to get my very first book deal. And I went door to door with a portfolio around Manhattan, and I finally landed at a place that said, we'll give you a shot. And they told me, well, write about what you know. So I know my neighborhood. That's how Uptown was born. It's done in watercolor and collage, and it's about the sounds and the sights and the smells and the taste of Harlem. And this little boy gives you a tour and tells you all those things that he likes. I'm the illustrator of the book named Trombone Shorty. It's a wonderful journey through New Orleans and music and the history of this young new musician. I create the images for Trombone Shorty in watercolor and collage, and I did a lot of layering of different materials and paint and, and drawing, and I thought it lent itself well to telling the story because the story has layers. The history of New Orleans has layers, and gumbo has layers, and I just thought it lent itself really, really well to sort of piecing the story together to make something whole and cohesive. And it also it becomes a metaphor for making a collage as well. Collage and what it means to me and in my life is I can look at objects, pictures, images, and see something else. I can look at a blow-up of a map. And in that map, I could see a pair of pants, I could see a jacket, I could see a handbag. The way I start, I do thumbnail sketches with an ink pen of where the characters will be standing and the way it's positioned. And I do a photo shoot for the books. So I'm going to use either family or friends to pose for me. And I put regular people in it without any acting ability and have them act it out. And I take pictures of the scene. Because all of these gestures that are important to sort of illuminate the idea of the scene. And after I do the photographic session of taking pictures of the characters, I would start drawing on watercolor paper. I would sketch it and paint it in watercolor. And the collage part comes into play when I cut pieces from magazines or photographs that I've taken and incorporate them into the painting, much like making a quilt. I've been inspired by my grandmother's quilts. It normally takes me seven to ten days to do each image. It's not an overnight thing. It's, it's adjusting and redoing and going over it and changing until you get it right. And that's my process. Martin's Big Words was a labor of absolute love. It's about the life of Dr. Martin Luther King, from a little boy all the way to his death. The ideas that I pushed in this text were stained glass windows. It started in the very beginning, when you first open up the book, and the stained glass windows act as a metaphor for Dr. King's message. It's about all these different pieces of glass and colors put together to make something whole. Also, it's about looking in and looking out throughout society. 
I painted her just in a watercolor and did her garment in collage. And these colors in the background, like the stars are not white necessarily, that is alluding to the stained glass feel. So you get the fact this is an American flag, but it's also of many different colors and shapes and ideas. Painting and creativity is about living. It's not about the skill or the hand-eye coordination or the balance of color and composition. It's your life. It's your temperament on how you judge and see the world and act in the world. And that comes through in the art.